Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about layers in Adobe Illustrator. Anytime you place an object in a document, it will be assigned to a layer, a separate layer. And that's a great thing because you can control those layers separately. Uh, let's have a demonstration here. I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, change the color. Okay, let's head to the layers panel. I'm going to drag it to the top because we're going to use it often and then drag it out. There. Um, if you take a look at here you see there's layer 1 and there's a little triangle here which you can cl click on to expand it. So this is our triangle, oh sorry, rectangle. Uh, there's an eyeball here you can click on that eyeball to tem uh, to temporarily disable viewing of this layer. You can also click on here to add a lock, basically to lock the layer. And I cannot check, ch I cannot select this one or move it anymore. I'm gonna unclick that one to unlock it. Uh, let's draw another shape. Let's pick up a an ellipse tool and draw a circle here. I'm going to change the color to green. So we see automatically a sub layer is created here on the top of the rectangle layer. So that's rule number one. In Illustrator all layers will stack on the top of each other in the order of creation. If I insert an image, insert a text, or whatever now it's gonna go on the top of the ellipse layer. Let's try it. I'm going to pick up the text tool for instance. I'm gonna click and drag and there you have it. The text layer is on the top of all of these. I will get rid of that but I would like to pick up the polygon tool, draw a polygon and make it red. So there you have it. We have three shapes on the top of each other. Now, things you can do with this. Uh, you can actually change the order of the layers. For instance, right now, Polygon is sitting on the top. I can drag it, bring it down between these two layers. When I do that here in the artboard, it actually goes behind the circle as well. But it's actually between these two layers. If you bring it all the way down, it goes underneath the rectangle layer as well. So that's how to arrange layers. You can also rename them. So where it says ellipse, I can double click and just type, for instance, circle. And I'm going to double click here and change the rectangle to dark blue header and so forth. If you want to select a layer here on Layers Panel, you, you got to click on any of these little circles. There you have it. If you would like to select multiple layers, you hold Shift and select these guys. To deselect, you can click outside with the selection tool. All right. Uh, there are a bunch of different things you can do with the uh, layer panel as well, so we're not done here yet. For instance, you can. these are all sub-layers. Uh, it says layer 1. I can change the name of this to anything I want. At this point, I'm just going to collapse it, create another layer. It's called layer 2. And if I clicked here, so select this one, from this point forward, whatever I draw, it's going to be included in this layer. Let's give it a shot. For instance, I create a text layer here, another one here. So there you go, we have two text layers. And um, they're both assigned to this layer. One great benefit of doing this is that you can actually put separate things in separate layers. For instance, these are all texts. I've put them under layer 2. I can double click here and change that label to text. I can change this one to shapes. Now if I want to 
for instance, make all my shapes invisible, I just click on this eyeball and they all go away. If I want to make all the text go invisible temporarily, I just click on the eyeball here. If I want to lock all my shapes, I just click on the layer. Sh there you go, to lock it here. Um, if I want to select all the shapes and move them at the same time, I can come here and click on this circle and they're all selected. So they work as a group. This is a wonderful way of organizing your objects and uh, if, for instance if you have a brochure with three panels you can create three layers call them panel one two and three and throw everything in there or if you want you can separate the text from images from uh, shapes so however you want it if you want to delete a layer you can do it here as well for instance um, I would like to get rid of the polygon so I can just select it and drag it to the garbage bin here and um, you can collapse or expand any of these layers here as well so there you have it uh, layers panel uh, in Adobe Illustrator I hope uh, you enjoyed the video thank you for watching